here's what I'm embarrassed to tell people. It, I, I'm 36 now. It was only the last year, so I was like 35, when it hit me that disciplined people, people who do hard things, don't like the things that they do. People who get up early in the morning, I thought, they're morning people. They love getting up early. I'm a night person. I hate getting up early, so I'm not going to get up early. It never crossed my mind that the people who get up early get up early not because they love it or like it. They just do it anyway. It's, it's embarrassing. Like It's embarrassing to me to think that I could be, at this point in my life, I could be, you know, the, have the success I have, I could have the smarts I have, I can be as sharp as I am and not realize that it's not that some people love it and some people hate it and the people who love it do it and the people who hate it will never do it. Everybody hates it. Just some people do it anyway. It's, it's mind blowing for me to think that the person who's at the gym who looks really fit, who I think loves it and that's why they're there, they still hate it. They hate it just like I hate it, but they do it anyway. And the person who uh, is, is investing month over month financially, even when cash is tight, even when things are hard and they're making sacrifices to build up the cash on hand or to invest in their future, they're not doing it because they love it. They're not like addicted to the game of the stock market or anything. They're doing it to do it anyway. They're making the sacrifices that they have to make to invest in their future, not because they love it, but because they're just, they just do it anyway. I used to eat a lot. I still eat a lot. But I used to eat tons and tons and I thought, okay, when eventually I will hit an age where um, being healthy is important to me. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, you know, I'm 18, I can eat whatever I want. I'm 25, I can eat whatever I want. Ah, eventually I'll hit an age. Everyone that I know is older eats healthy. So eventually I guess I'll just start eating healthy. And that never came. <laughs> like I thought that people who eat healthy love eating healthy. No, they don't love eating healthy. They're just, they just have adopted some kind of discipline. And, and so this is the thing that, that, this is the thing that I'm embarrassed took me this long to figure out. The people who are good at things aren't necessarily good at it because they love it. They're good at it because they do it consistently. They do it because it's important enough for them to do it despite the fact that they hate it. I don't love doing the dishes. My kids think I love doing the dishes. I don't love doing the dishes. I do the dishes because you have to do the dishes. And because I can do it and take it, take it off of you know, my wife's plate with how busy she is doing everything. I don't love taking my daughter to dance class. I, I don't know if any adult does. And yet when I see you know, like the soccer moms or the, the hockey dads, when you see these people and you think, oh, they must love it. Look at how into it they are. They must be living vicariously through their kids. I bet you most of them don't like it. They do it anyway. They do it as a gift. They do it as an act of service. They do it because they want to give their child something, but they don't love it. I'm not a hockey dad because I don't love it. But I bet lots of hockey dads don't love it either. It, it, I, I, I don't know if I'm dense or blind or crazy. I don't know why it took me 35 years to figure this out. I don't know if anyone else is like me, but for me, I somehow thought that people do the things that they love. I don't love those things, so I can never do it. That, that's literally what I thought. And it's such a negative, not a negative, it's such a terrible place to be because you start to set fences around yourself. You start to tell yourself, oh, I'm not someone who loves the gym. I guess I'm not gonna be fit. I'm not someone who is good with money. I guess I'm always gonna be in debt. Uh, I'm not someone who has a marketable skill. So I guess I'm never gonna be able to grow my career, my business, my client base. Uh, I'm, I'm not great with people. I guess I can never be on stage. Uh, I'm not disciplined. So I guess uh, I'm never gonna be able to get healthy. Whatever it is, like in all areas of our lives, I guess I'm not that attractive. So I'm never gonna find someone who loves me. Whatever it is, it, it's, it's crazy to me that I thought that only the people who love it do it. But the truth is, the people who do it don't love it, just like you, aren't good at it when they start, just like you, suck at it and are embarrassing at it, just like you, but they, they just keep going. So what do we do with that now? Like now that, now that I know this, what do we do with this? What do we do with the like, oh, the people who are here, you know, maybe secret, secretly love it or, or trick their mind into it, but they're still not having fun. You know, what do we do with this information? When I'm up at 5 a.m. on a Sunday and I'm walking around and the place is quiet and I love it, what do, what do I do with this? What do I do with this like I'm gonna get up no matter what? Even though when my alarm goes, goes off, I have a headache. Uh, oh, it's Sunday morning. Did I drink something the night before? 
It, Saturday's my cheat day for my diet, so did I go absolutely crazy with food? How bad do I feel on a Sunday morning? But I'm gonna get up anyway. Because just getting up, it's actually the, my favorite time of the week. I'm alone. Uh, I have time. There's no rush. There's no pressure. But I gotta get my ass out of bed. <laughs> and I spent decades thinking that only people who got up early loved it. Now I love it. But in that moment, I don't. Like my alarm goes off. I don't love it. You know, if I've gone to bed at 1 a.m., trust me, when my alarm goes off at 5, I don't love it. And, and my wife says like, why are you getting up this early? Like you literally have nothing to do. You can get up later. Like why are you gonna try and operate on four hours of sleep? You're grumpy, you're, you're mean, you're short, tempered. Like just sleep a little bit longer, you'll be a nicer guy. But it's like, no, like I don't have to love, I don't have to love it to do it, right? It's, it's important that I do this, it's important I do it consistently. It's not about whether I love it or not, I just have to do it. It, it took me 35 years to figure this out and now that I have, it's like I've, I've, I've seen it and I can't unsee it. So the only thing I would say is like, look at your life, like look at what other people have that you want and ask yourself, do you think that they just have it because they got lucky, because they love it? because you know they they have the body because they love not eating because they love the discipline because they love spending the time in the gym do they actually love it or are they about the effort the consistency and the results i keep going back to the gym because like that's 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 what i'm trying to work on right now that's the part i've always struggled with but in your own life it can be anything right it can be it can be career path it can be skill set it can be relationships it can be um, what you do in the community it can be finances health it, it can be anything just ask yourself those who have what you want are they there because they loved every minute of it and you just think you don't love it so you can't do it? Or are they there because they actually just started and then kept doing it? That's what you need to ask yourself. Jason. If growing and scaling your business by being better at sales and better at marketing, better at customer experience is important to you, be sure to check out this video right over here. And like always, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon, and get each video every day when it drops.